Lego Think fans and welcome to the heliport at Bel Air. Today we are comparing our massive heavy lift helicopter with a real helicopter. This one is an Augusta Westland 139, used for passenger and light cargo transport. Impressive, isn't it? But what's the difference between this helicopter and our own heavy lift helicopter? Let's find out. The shuttle helicopter gets its power from two engines which are 1500 horsepower each. It has a main rotor and a smaller rotor for stability. If it was real, our heavy lift helicopter would be capable of producing 4800 horsepower from each of its jet turbine engines, totaling 9600 horsepower. As you can see, our model doesn't have a tail rotor like the shuttle helicopter. On a single rotor helicopter, the energy from the main rotor destabilizes the helicopter, so it needs the small rotor at the back to counteract those forces. Our model uses a counter-rotating system, which means there are two heavy rotors turning in opposite directions. It then uses rotors and elevators for direction control. The Augusta Westland 139 is 17 meters long and can carry up to 12 passengers in comfort. Whereas our heavy lift helicopter, if it was real, would be 18 meters long, 6 meters high and 3 meters wide, which is twice as much as the shuttle helicopter. So you can probably guess the heavy lift helicopter has a much larger lifting capacity than the shuttle helicopter. But can you guess how much it could lift in real life? We have worked out that it could lift as much as two 20 feet container, each filled with almost 2,000 LEGO Technic heavy lift helicopter boxes. Alternatively, it would carry up to 48 seated passengers, which is four times as much as the shuttle helicopter next to me. It's quite amazing how much a heavy lift helicopter can carry. So now, should we take out the helicopter and go for a flight? This has been a fantastic day. Thank you for watching. Enjoy building your helicopter and see you next time.